-hmm. It looks like a lot of concern for the egg in this draft, doesn't it? Like silencer. Yeah, the, I, the only problem here, I think, is he's their tanky hero, right? And he, I, I don't know how much farm he's actually to find. Here this he game, goes. But, oh no, he's runs, just running at him. The classic run through the trees. <gasps> able to step in, Long gets the tree. stomp, gets the hit, and that's how it happens, folks. Just like that, first blood goes to LGD, and they're not done yet. Ame feeling confident, running within the trees, and happy to slap it with the bird man, but. Doesn't want to get too overzealous, That'd I guess. really be a good laner. All his spells cost so much, but he's going to be doing decently. Yeah, he used to be quite annoying. Ooh. Nice call setup here, looking to get a return kill here, possibly onto Chalice. Good grab. He's going to try to get down the blast. Tempted right clicks here to try to get a trade happening, but he does end up dropping. Sukuchi does end up coming out. It could be X Nova to fall as well. Oh, the Weaver, unfortunately, just eats a bit too much damage. He's going to get dropped. They oh, both end up going down. God. Oh, no. Oh, disaster. And it doesn't stop. The bloodshed continues. Top lane, they're able to snipe down Insania. And it's 4 1 already, LGD. Oh, God. The, the, the top lane will always pull that. Yeah, it feels like there's just so much to cover. And, and now that there's no more tri lanes, it's on the responsibility of really just one other support to get it done. They move in, they get a stomp, they get the double edge. The whirling axes and a right click should get Damn. it done. Mickey's going to fall. FY picks that one up and it's 5 to 1 now. Yep, it is. And the one lane you're not really getting kills, Marana's still winning. It does get the, the regen, actually gets denied Bottom. by Quick, but. Possible move for Chalice here, sweeping in Sukuchi. Tiger's gonna walk in, gets the call. The ward does go down. They decide to focus that. They get, you know, 20 cents for it, but he's able to turn the corner, drops the blast, but eventually they do get the catch, and Tiger's gonna be able to pick up the kill. And this is, I mean, that's the one good thing for Alliance. This is, like I said, I think if Boxy gets up to a good start, he can just another, sit here. Oh another takedown. That was like all Ame. Not Solo a, kill to take down. We saw this yesterday with Rezo right on the wave. This is what we call the walk of shame. Wow. At least he finally gets well as a Phoenix, but bottom, X Nova will get found again. Fist to cuffs being had here. X Nova is going to get dropped. Chalice is looking to go for hot pursuit. That poor little troll is just getting get zapped from that ward. ward. He has nothing to do with this, but he will pay the price. Meantime, goes down. I think he wanted to go get mana and HP. Obviously, you don't want to give the kill to Chalice, but he'll get it back. And now, oh no, Mickey top yep. again. This is turning find into quite the punishment here. FY does manage to cut him off. There's the stomp. Right click on pop. Good enough. They have to rotate Boy Club. I'm not even sure he might get this kill, but I don't think he will. If they don't, it will feel real tough for Lions. They got it's a good like setup. Cold snap, right clicks. And Sania is going to be forced to jump out. But the curse is there. That Phoenix is going to get dropped in exchange. And FY steps in with the crush. No Troll's still way. good. Running back and away. The right click's not going to be there. And FY is now dominating. It's, it's just the LGD training. Wow. Again. They are coming on through, and I can't believe his mobility. I was like, they're not. So even at level 25, if you get that curse off on him, he just loses all his mobility because of it. Charles yep. control bottom. Yeah, he's just going to defensively drop the ward, hide within the trees, but there is a rotation coming from Insania. Nice grab of the call there from Taiga, and they're going to be able to finish that one off. Arrow's going to miss, but leaping in is going to be maybe. Hey, Hi, I'm from the mid lane. What's going on? Sweeps on through, gets the one swift kill. And he'll just get a couple of tags in. Does he want to pursue this one? Oh, I mean, he's, he's got going. the haste rune. He's feeling damn good. Leaps on in. One more right click should do a double kill for the man. Yeah, Star Storm up too. Okay, call. Does he want to keep going? Weaver's deeping in now. I think it's time he takes his lead. He's already gotten a lot. Jungle. And a good rotation coming back oh. from the Monkey King. This is a three on two. They're going to try to pincer him. Can they get the catch here? They know something's up. Ame looks to hide within the trees. The tornado's going to catch. Dishes out the Whirling Axes. They put all their focus onto this troll, and they should be successful in bringing him down. He pops the wand, though, turns around, tries to get off some damage so that FY and company can help clean up some action here. They get one, look to go for two. There it is. And now maybe he's getting it. No, Mecha, you just got back to the lane. <laughs> Run, please. Oh. Just hoppy, and this is... And this is LGD in a nutshell, this tournament. They will just run you over the all 30 minutes. You have to be involved. Smoke rotation to the bottom, but they are outnumbered for this. Plus, there's still that stampede. They do manage to finish off the tower. But on the way back, Whoa. they could run into some potential alliance members here. There goes the egg early on. No one's focusing yet, but now they do move in, yeah. and they easily clean it up. Level 1 is just like a really fragile egg. Following clean up there, they do manage to get Chalice down. FY next. Nice dunk setup. Taiga still using that momentum from the early game, claiming a dominating streak and continuing to go to work. And the chase is on. Battle Hunger out. They look to go within the trees. A brief arrow to stop him in his tracks. And now the Star Storm should be enough firepower to be able to bring him down. And that is going to be a five times kill streak handed over to FY. Though Alliance are getting the best of the trade. You know, it's, it still feels like it could end Showing up that they're happy to continue being frisky and using their power advantage from the early game. Top, jump in though, as they could get a good swarm attack onto the Troll Warlord. They're going to commit the global for this one, but it's not going to help them. Yeah, I mean, 
you want to get that. Like, if you see the that torch, you know, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, you know? Hey, we talked about Alliance having some nerves. I know it. this LGD team, you know, almost won a TI, but they still... make, They're going to make a pay for it. They Jump are. in, call hey, FY there, not. though. FY. This man just the shows god. up. The god. The prince. He's so good to Heading into you. Alliance territory here. There are about four Alliance members right here. Smokes oh, hey. into each other. Jump across from FY, immediate global, and that's going to give LGD the advantage, and they could be able to clean up, and they do. They grab one axe before the silence does settle, nice. and then they grab another. A long, late lightning proc, it looked like, was able to get the snap onto Insania. That's a double kill for maybe, gotcha. just in case. Yep. It is crazy how similar, like, the two top teams of this tournament for me are, like, uh, LGD and Secret. Oh, Boxy, they do. They squished that bug so hard, so God. fast. It's, it's how greedy, like, their fourth play, right? Like, the Absor and FY play Lines so they similar. Avoided they avoided the ganks. <laughs> yeah, they, they, uh, they avoided two ganks, hey. <laughs> oh, top the arrow hits. Mickey gonna try Lightning Proc Godlike at 20 minutes. Maybe. Maybe one of the best players in the world, for sure. Maybe. Maybe. What, is, what is he flying out? Sorry, the chicken is a full oh. BKB in bottom. That bug again. Gone. Oh just jump, stomp, double edge. They even brought out a global just in case they were thinking about saving him. This tier two is going to go down. This I'm back crushing this is convincingly. Just, uh, you know, LGD came to play oh. for sure, but here we go. Swinging about right now. Stampede's going to be going out. Chaos going to fight right within the middle, but he could end up dropping and does. Alliance are able to swarm onto that one. Now they put their focus on the X Nova here. Alliance able to scrap together a good couple of kills, but From behind though. Yeah, here comes LGD's real power hitters now. They jump in. There's the stomp. Does find connection, but they're not happy and committed to, to really swing in yet. They're waiting for Ame to show up. And Ame, well, he sidesteps. He finds oh, Koikfer. Okay. This is the connection onto Koikfer to go for the chase. But in the meantime, maybe, putting his focus on the Taiga, looking to go for the finish there. So low. There, he's going to get finished. The godlike streak continues here. Ame continued to try to chase for Koikfer, but now has no longer any detection to be able to see him. Mikkei trying to hide yeah. within the trees, but he just gets chopped on down with those whirling axes. That was such a, a weird engagement. Like the silencer and Pugna just die. And for some reason, the raiding curves are like by the dire base. Yeah. They come from their base, so they cut them off and they just can't go anywhere. And buyback, they have. To. All right. They have to move in. But uh, they're trying to go onto the troll. He does eventually get chopped on down. He gets a decent amount of damage off before he does get taken down. And it looks like they should be able to kite around fly here if they can. Yep. He's tanky, though. He's got a point booster in that Vanguard. It's going to take a long time, and here comes the rest of the LGD troops. If you can't take them out fast enough, you're going to pay the price. FY, look at You know Boxy. Like, I really wanted to go for that kill, but he says to run. Yep. Now they got to bail Stampede to help either secure the escape or continue the pursuit. Quite LGD are kind of split up right now. If they can get the jump on this Pugna. A brief side blink. And he's trying to burst fire Koikva here. Koikva's going to be forced to push out from the side. That was an assisted push from... Uh, Boxy's new four staff, too, to bail him out from trouble. Now here comes the follow-up. They're trying to go for the finish on Chalice. They will be able to get it, but the X comes out, and the eight goes down. Just like that. Ame has no problems whatsoever making breakfast right there. And the rest of Alliance have to hide within the trees to make it away. Not so lucky is going to be Taiga. Gets caught on down and chopped on up from FY. Just going to go for the base. He's just one component away from finishing out that Ags. But like A you said... A little bit aggressive uh, from Chalice. They're like, he didn't need to be that far up front. Even with the global, you know, going for it. Oh, are they going to find one more? They have the dust this time. They finally brought the dust. FY just stalking, waiting. Like, oh, maybe Koifo oh. will happen to come back that way and just waits for him. And then they have the ward just to spot People him. I don't even walk. joke about that one. Just me. kidding, guys. Dota 3 on mobile. Yep. Oh, that would be hype. <laughs> All right. I would play it. <laughs> I would play it. I don't care. And there's going to be the second row taken. As they do it, Middle. they're going to swing out and start taking kills without them even getting involved. It's FY cleaning things up early, getting the Insania kill, and then moves on forward and claims the double. He gets the finish on the Taiga. Koik is going to be forced to split out the side door. And uh, well, like, well, this Weaver doesn't do anything. He's, he's absolutely a creep right now. 30k advantage coming in. Uh, 30k like 28 advantage. minutes. Koifa, who tried to just slip in back through the base, gets caught and finished off. They are going to be able to get that grab on him, maybe. That is a huge bounty on his head of gold that's going to be heading the way of Taiga, which is great. But is it too little too late? LGD already ransacking themselves through the base. They're going to get Boxy down yet again. 40 to 15 people. And there's the GG's. I actually get dropped right there. It'll it'll end only at 27,000 gold league because Marana bought back and died. But we was we this their most commanding performance so far this tournament? It feels like it. Like even I think it might actually 
like statistically and just watching it, I think it probably is. After, not only that, but I, I feel like the the stats are going to lie to us this time, and I'm I'm going with LGD because even with all that, map. should probably be favored in this game. Yeah. This CK support really doesn't do that much until mm -hmm. you get stuff. Like it's not a centaur you can just stomp and then double edge someone because it doesn't cost mana. You actually need mana on this hero, and he's going to get the first blood. It looks like. Yep. Set up right there. Maybe not. We're looking to catch FY within the trees. Can he find a way to slip out from this Got one? He does get the salve going, and it continues to heal him on through. And look at this. They actually managed to turn it around. A rotation from X Nova. And it's going to be a move on to Taiga, which leads to the first blood going up LGD. The CK may not have been working as a four position to kind of bully in the lane, but is hanging. Uh, and then that top lane, of course, is working real nice. But man, I might have just jinxed him. Look yeah. at here comes that Roman CK. And you know finds the target. Real. Looking to move on through. Catches him within the trees. There's the stun. There's the blast. It's going to be maybe picking it up. All right. Well, Grant, I, I just shouldn't have said anything, I guess. Yes, not. And I, I forgot a really Spirit Sight. Out out top lane the trade. I'm looking at the, the last six denies. And PL's like winning this, but he's getting dope middle. And the net worth is actually so bad. No, he's, yeah, he it might could get be worse. Dead. Nice. Oh. Sucking him on up. Good rotation, though. Nova steals it. I'll take that. Yep. He saps him down, and he's there to bail out. Maybe oh, just to win someone. Oh, whoa. Bottom lane. There's about to be a big engagement. Yep. And more going to be popped. Oh. He steps right in, does uh, the Bane to kind of soak in all the damage for this, but he still here. doesn't get dropped. Has the brain step to turn around and maybe rolls into town almost with the same timing he did in the last game as the Marana. Just this time, though, he's already got a couple of kills under the belt to work with. Him. Good lord. A couple of deaths that do hinder him a bit, but he's got the farm still coming his way. But yeah, Koifa will have to see if he rotate. But meanwhile, bottom lane, there's the rift pullback from FY coming to bail out his ex Nova partner, and the three of them are able to easily tag down Boxy. Now, this bottom lane, it just feels so like the Dyer's getting these so close to kills, and then they just get into the tree. All of a sudden, they wand up, and there's just another random hero out of nowhere. Middle again. Oh, McKay. Bottom Maybe level. I have not seen play Death Prophet in such a long time, but this dude is just getting back on the bicycle, it feels like, and knows exactly the timing to be able to take fights. Oh, the old though, but he's going to be dead. For yeah, a while. with the exorcism coming out, can Koifa finally send her to the grave? He will get it done. It does cost Alliance a couple of kills, but finally able to put her down and take that three times kill screen and out of that comfort yeah, zone at least a little bit. Yep, yeah, game one, they they ch they got the choice first, they chose Radiant, and then game two, if you didn't know, Alliance chose first pick this game, so obviously you know someone chose Radiant. Here we go, more bloodbath action, potentially going to be breaking out here in the bottom lane as the Metamorph is going to be unleashing. Quick, going to get blasted down. See you later, Necro. Maybe he's in town, and all of them are going to be going towards this tier one with the Metamorph out. They have I'm a seeding line ready. They could be eating a lot of losses till then. This looks like their first tier one to get dropped, but a grip is there, and Koifa just returned, oh, and he's gonna no. go down again! I, I, there's not much they can say, right? Two months of all of them. I mean, of course you're gonna forget it. Yeah. Crazy. Anyways, back to Dota here. Rotations towards the top lane. It's gonna be maybe coming into town and already set it up from Chalice with that disruption and the ulti. There it is. Easy swift takedown. I love the setups that the supports have that they are allowed to just kind of get things started, whether it's the disruption or the sleep. It just makes yep. it for easy for one. He's the sports player. I sure as hell aren't. Oh, middle. This could just be a kill if they get the real one, and they actually do. Wow. You know, all that's happening, you see the setup of the Bane also going towards Taiga. He'll get that kill on his own. Boxy tries to come in to get a bit of redemption, but they better do it quick because reinforcements are on the way. He may be, oh no, he just turns around and gets the grip. Okay, help's coming, oh, and this is gonna be disastrous. Yeah. He's gonna be forced to pop the Echo, and that's still not enough to even get the kill. Okay, here comes Quakefa though. He should be able to help things out for Alliance a bit. Can he get Nova? Nova's trying to run from the nuke. He, he can't get away. He ends up going down, but it's gonna be focused on Quakefa neck. He's able to step in and try to help out in getting a kill, but it looks like it's just gonna cost him his own life. Grant, the LGD assault just doesn't stop. These guys are ridiculous. It really is not. They, they get an easy kill on Mickey Middle on the PL. And then Nine, but it is on Alliance to really try to turn the tide somehow, and they're looking to make something happen. Can they find an opening here? The smoke movement in. They do spot a couple. A movement. Nice blink setup. Echo onto two. There's a kill. Nice grab on the Chalice, but a sudden turnaround here as Ami is going to look to chase down Boxy and make him pay for what he's done. How dare you, sir? Can you find a blink out, though? Well, he did. He went to blink this game instead of the egg. He's going to die. I'm trying to... I think he knew his axe was never going to get blinked this game, so he's forced to go the Death Prophet. Can he make it? Oh, no, Bane's right there. He can grip him. He he cannot. Oh, but look at the rest of the team behind. Insania and Taiga. All right, can they bail him out? Running right in. Taiga looking to take it right to maybe, but nope. It's the disruption going to be right there. And they begin the Soul Siphon. 
And, and Chalice is like, I'll just take Koikpa while you guys Whatever. are dealing with everybody else. But they do get split up a bit. Nice turnaround. Nice slam down. Then Koikpa is able to get the finish. And they're able to drop one. They could get X Nova as well. And they do. All right. Alliance drop two and lose nobody. Yeah. There we go, Alliance. You are you know, terribly spot farming. Taking tier two. But well as this Earth Shaker. I like it. Spotted Koikpa farming the lane. So can he hits to the side. Nice quick Yules. There's reflection though. Pull back from FY. Ghost. He's sitting there. Oh, He's nice. Trying to make block. It away. Can he make it out? Here comes Boxy to the rescue. It's a fissure stun. Doesn't block him out though. Now they look to swing it out within the trees, and Sanya and company are coming to bail him out. FY. He's going to get dropped. Ame though, metamorphed. Fishing out the right click damage. Chalice also coming into play. No, looking to assist. But all right, that's going to be the Aegis. This, this is good for Alliance here. They're still missing members. There's a mid lane skirmish also happening at this moment, but there's the dunk return from Boxy here. Looking to take it to Chalice. Still very low. Chalice trying to turn around. Gets hit with the stun, and eventually Boxy will drop. Still Chalice very low. Gets finished off with the help of the Battle Hunger coming in from Taiga, and now they're looking back to Ami. In the meanwhile, X Nova does get the finish onto PL. Very much. Ooh, Boxy gets ulted bottom by the Shadow Demon. Will they chase for this? And this is when you wish you had the Ags instead of the Blink. Silence catches him so he can't stun him out, but the rotation's coming from Quake. But good call set up there from Taiga, and they get the Yules onto Bane so he can't stop him. And they're gonna be able to burst fire oh, and take out Mei, but no! Wow. No, 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 he lives on. He pops his BKB. They will eventually bring him down. It looks like it could be another favorable alliance exchange. And they're still chasing Top out. Lane, They've got FY, but yeah, Graham, while that's happening, it's not lame. Oh, this is fine. That's completely okay. If you're alliance, you're gonna lose a ton of damage on Tier the Tier 1 takedown in that mid lane. Money's starting to come together, and oh, Ame's crossing river here. Through some alliance oh, no. members, but here e. comes. Oh, wow. All right, well, PL. Yikes, EL. There's a PL there. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, he's supposed to be like the one of the big defectors. Like, There's no return oh. investment at all. Here we go. Alliance, though, back on the prowl. They could catch Ami farming within the trees. There's help nearby, oh. but is it going to be close enough? Immediate BKB is going to be pop, but they do manage to call him in. He's going to be able to get it up. What he got the stun dust. Moving in from Boxy. Shoving back the rest of Alliance. They'll settle for Taiga, and the chase is on. Chalice has found one. Hits it up with the disruption. It's going to be Koikva. Great target to get for LGD. They fish her back, but the rip is already there. Moving from Boxy. He's got to commit the echo, but it doesn't lead oh, oh. to a kill. But got with the follow-up Nova, they do manage to get Ame down. He's going to be out without a buyback, but <laughs> four from Alliance have dropped. Only PL to stand. And that's the first away on the racks. There is a fortification, but it's just like Light of the Valkyrie here as they fly on through. They don't even know who they could properly focus. The jump in Blade Mail's there, but did it find any valuable Boxy target? Again. It doesn't look like it. Box is getting forced back. Oh, he's going to get dropped. No. And we know he doesn't have a buyback, so he's not going to bring an offering. Quick was also down. He doesn't have a buyback. And this could just be they're the beginning down. of the end. No. LGD, they have bigger and better things to do, and they're ready to move on. And they just shove Alliance to the side and inside a Hurt Locker. That's for damn sure. I love it. Like, Box is like, all right, I might find a sick blink. And so the, his last two deaths, we're literally dying to the, the CK spawn TV illusion. Just them. Just, just running at him. He can't do anything because he doesn't have the axe this game. And well, a 30 minute game. And I don't know. I, I would honestly put PSG LGD as the favorite of this tournament, even above Secret. Yep, just for nah. the cleanliness of all their wins. Like, Secret has looked a little bit.